Hello YouTube and welcome to this channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a random function for excitations, any functions that you want. And at the same time, while you're applying this excitation into your circuit, you can study the effects of the fields in a Maxwell. You may ask that, why should I do that when I can use Simplotter and easily I can apply whatever kind of excitation to my circuit? Well, one of the main difference between the simpler excitation that comes through the simpler um, and the excitation that comes through the Maxwell uh, external circuit or the transient data set is that with the simpler you are basically um, tied down to the simpler area and when the simulation is happening you basically cannot see what's happening on the Maxwell side unless if you have um, a link that basically does the same sort of simulations and then you can study but generally speaking you you bound to just look at the results at the simulation at the simpler side now if you want to study the effects of the fields then you want to be on the Maxwell side not the simpler side for that ANSYS has one very simple solution basically you can use external circuit I show you before how you can use external 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 circuit editor of Maxwell which is a free tool that comes with Maxwell and in this video I'm going to show you uh, another tool that Maxwell provides and it's called data sets and um, to start I'm going to start designing a very simple uh, inductor and then after I uh, design the inductor I'm going to show you how to do the setup of the excitations and the terminals to, to whom that are not very familiar with that and in the third and also you will see it within the excitations how you can use these new tools that I'm trying to show you there and then at the end we are going to show basically see the results and um, interpret that okay so let's start with a very simple design I'm going to start with a 3D design and uh, I'm going to first create um, First, first and foremost is you want to go to the Maxwell 3D and make sure that your simulation is in transient. So that is the first step you do. Second, we want to create a core that will subtract from our um, other cylindrical thing that we have. So we will basically find a hollow cylindrical uh, coil that we, we will measure the inductance of it and or, or basically see how it works. So one thing we want to do is we want to go create a, a polyhydrant here. And I'm going to click on the, the polyhydrant. Let's create the... Uh, select the first point and then uh, we go with the uh, 2 for dx, 2 for dy and 0 for the dz and again 20 millimeter for the uh, 20 millimeter for the height and the number would be 24 segments there we go and uh, I'm gonna uh, change the color this is the property windows that I made it to be pop up you guys can actually have that in the options and uh, you can basically select it to be uh, like this okay and uh, I'm going to do control D and that would give us the figure and I'm going to make the transparency slightly lower so you guys can understand why this thing is a core so this is going to be our core and at the same time we want to have our coil and for the coil we are going to use exactly the same and hopefully this time I'm not going to do any mistake so at, at 0, 0 I'm, uh, I'm pressing the key for the DX I'm going to put 3 and the, for DY I'm going to put 3 so it's a slightly larger coil and um, when it comes to the height, it's going to be 20 millimeters. Okay, and uh, we will go with the same number of segments for that as well. And uh, you know, we can make a different color scheme for it. And this one would be coil. And that's it. Uh, you know, actually, I wouldn't mind to make the coil out of copper so I will select copper over here and um, can leave the rest and uh, now what we can do is we can go and select the coil and press and hold the control key and select the core as well and over here we can do the subtract that was you and I sorry so over here you select the subtract and make sure that the core is in the tool part and we can check that to make sure that we will have the tool part at the end of the day okay so what we did here is we will have a ferrite in the middle 
So the core is going to be a ferrite instead of vacuum. And, uh, and then we have a, a wrapped around uh, material around the ferrite. So let's just uh, find the ferrite here and press OK. So we have a ferrite in green and a coil in red. That is going to be our very simple design that we've done for the inductor. Uh, and I will show you the excitations and the tool in the next video. Thanks for watching.